family tells us they had already lost their mother, so their father was really their rock. He was an immigrant from the Philippines who loved to cook and filled their home with laughter. He was also a retired MTA bus driver, and he had many plans for the future. March 27, that was the day that changed her life. It was an act of negligence in 2020 that a Long Beach family says cost them their father. Video of that day shows a wobbly 61-year-old Guillermo Aviles, a dialysis patient, being dropped off by access services. But rather than the driver helping him to his door, Aviles struggles on his own, falls and hits his head. Now, three years later, a jury has awarded the family $17.5 million. It's so really hard. I don't wish that upon anyone. I would rather have my father back in our life because from with 15 grandkids. The tight-knit family of seven kids says they trusted access services with their father's well-being. After all, the paratransit company specializes in shuttling the disabled. But throughout the trial, they say they learned the company had been warned by regulators that drivers were ignorant or confused about federally required door-to-door -door assistance policies. The family had seen some drivers pull into their driveway and walk their father to the door. But the driver that day didn't with fatal consequences. And to make matters worse, they say they saw that driver at the trial wearing an access uniform. Seeing him so present in his actual uniform, I'm, I'm wondering to myself, is he continuing to work for them? And if so, is he still taking care of his clients the same way that he had taken care of my father. The family says Avilis was left quadriplegic on a ventilator before he passed. I miss you, Dad. Because it was the start of the pandemic, the family had to speak to him on FaceTime and added heartbreak in a loss that a jury found could have and should have been prevented. We all miss our dad, especially during this time of year because he loves Christmas, he loves having all our family get together with his kids and grandkids. Access Services bills itself as one of the nation's largest ADA paratransit companies. They're headquartered in El Monte. We did reach out to them for comment and they responded that they cannot comment on ongoing litigation. Live in Long Beach, Christy Fajardo, Fox 11 News. All right, what a story there. Christy, thank you.